Hello and welcome back to Elder Kings. So we are in the Revolt War. We should hopefully be able to win it for our liege. That would be absolutely ideal. We need to win it for our liege. People then vote for us to take charge. We then kill our liege. We take charge. We change succession law. Boom, this land is ours. It is just that simple. However, you know, we got some issues. Well, ma mainly the fact that uh, the war seems it's taken some time, but you know, we've taken their capital, they don't have that many men left, we can probably hold them off. That's alright. It has also been requested that we do something with all of our favours, and I think we're going to do that after we, um, yeah, after we win this war. And we'll see how that goes. Shiragorath gazing inward. Mages and scholars across the known world are in agreement Shiragorath is utterly disinterested in mortal affairs. Possibly it's because of some internal strife in his realm, or out of a temperamental distaste towards mortals. No one is certain. But all but the most token F attempts to reach out to Shiragorath and the subjects within his realm have either been rejected or completely ignored. That is troubling. Hmm. It's definitely troubling. He likes. He still likes Dragonborn heroes. Um, I was trying to see whether we can yeah ask for boon. That's how we do it. I want to see what we how much we need for like one of these boons. Like five thousand. Yeah. Yeah. We need we need stuff basically. Okay, that's fine. Uh, don't want to help siege. I, I guess I kind of want to just kill their armies rather than help siege right now. Oh, you'll owe me a favor? Oh, definitely. I'm in. Yeah, no reason not to do that. Get as many of those as we can. Beated the army again. Nice. Uh, there should be taking war score now, actually. Yeah, because he controls all the land. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. Uh, we'll assault that down. These are dark days. My wife, Kin Lady Minatilli, has been grown weaker and weaker over the last few weeks, and I've just been informed of her that her affliction is indeed consumption. Well, the court physician will cure her, or, or they won't. That simple, really. Doesn't really bother us either way. My treasured cat passed away peacefully this morning. It was truly a member of my family, and I shall miss the poor creature dearly. Well, I mean... I think we're just going to bury it in the garden, but I did consider holding a funeral, but I have remembered we have been saving money for about the last, uh, oh, I don't know, all the episodes, I guess, that we've had of this series, so it's fine. We'll uh, hold off on that. Right, now we have the gang back together. People are going to vote for me again? Mm, doesn't look like it. I don't want to kidnap that guy. Nobody's voting for me. My co-conspirator, Kinlord Thundermall. Is his name really Thundermall? Really? Okay, I mean, sure. Um, has assembled a party of mercenaries who will ambush High King Mankar disguised as Highwayman. I am assured he will not survive the encounter. Yes, the roads just aren't safe anymore. Uh, no. That one... Right, uh, if I request council support, they're not going to back me in, like, the vote, are they? I, I actually don't know. I assume the answer is no. But maybe it's yes. I'm going to call in all my council support, if I can. Wait, why can I not? He's already... Alright, they're already influenced by a favor. Um... Already influenced by... Wait, we don't have a favor with this one, apparently? Okay, you? Don't have a favor? Wait, what? Very weird. Why do we have none of our favors? Yeah, he already owes us a favor. So why can I not call... Alright, yeah. X is on the same... Alright, so yes, no, you can't call in that for a vote. That's fine. Never mind, I think I was being stupid. That's fine. Failure! High King Mankar got away from the ambush, but at least the disguises of the mercenaries held up, concealing my involvement. Yes, at least. Um, who is top of this list? This guy. Well, I don't like that. I also don't like that he hates me. It's kind of an... It's not really an improvement in my eyes for him to be in charge. Yeah, yeah. How much do we have in terms of magicka? We have some. Maybe it's time to start influencing people. Let's see. 
We assume everybody... Does she even hold land? She's married to somebody who holds land. Why does she get a vote? Yeah, anyway, whatever. Oh no, she doesn't get a vote. She's being voted for. I'm an idiot. That's fine. Uh, it's not the first time. It won't be the last. So he's voting for himself. That makes sense. Who else is he voting for? Or who else is voting for him? Uh, Peregrine of Marnor. I have no idea which one of these is Marnor. Oh, it's over here. It must be your liege. Okay, is there anything I can do to convince her to uh, vote with me? Like, by using a spell? Um, I can increase her opinion of me? Or I don't want to manipulate motions. Hmm. Maybe I do want beguiling presence. Although maybe that only activates on me. It's a little bit confusing. Um, I'm seeing if we have anything that sounds better here. Not really. Oh, charm? Charm. Increase sex appeal. Do it. Use illusion magic to increase your target sex appeal. No. No. But if I use it myself, that might work. You know, it's starting to sound like a very bad idea. Okay. Well, I'm going to cast charm on myself. A greater version of the spell. Did it work? We'll see, I guess. Did it give us a buff or something? Or... Lord or Magicka? Uh, I'm going to uh, close my spell book. And then I go back to the previous person we were looking at. They do like me more. Because my sex appeal has gone up. Fantastic. You know why people aren't voting for me? It's because I have the gate shut. That's lowered my uh, diplomacy. Yeah. If I open the gates... That might make people like us more, although it also maybe won't because uh, we get the negative 10 on that one. If I go back to her, that actually doesn't make her like me more. Anyway, whatever. It's fine. Um, but I don't know how exactly the elective succession voting works. I think it's generally opinion, but it could be diplomacy as well goes into it. Uh, you think I'm being too stressed? You know what? Sure, I'm going to go out drinking with you. He was okay. You're gonna kill a uh, High King Mankar? That seems good. Oh, somebody's uh, come up to us. You'll pay for your heretical words. Well, let me explain. And we've calmed them down. Our diplomacy goes up. And the Baron likes me more. Nice. That's good. Did we become less stressed? No. And he didn't drink the wine. In case you were wondering. Uh, my liege, during my stay in Rosefield, I found a great philosopher who agreed to help me with my studies to enhance culture in the county. Yeah, do it. Seems good to me. Right. Baronies are being usurped. That's fine. That's a relatively large amount of baronies that are being usurped, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of people voting for um, those top two. We're just kind of a little bit further down the list here. I'm gonna figure it out. What do they have? Well, you have a lot of mm, a lot of intrigue. Maybe people just like them. I guess that that could be an answer. Is people just like them? I don't know. They're also married to other voters, which might be how they have as so many votes, and everyone else just voting for themselves. We had to hire the fighters to get rid of some uh, some rats, but that's okay. Yeah. I will say there's a lot of speculation going on in this episode. I realize that, but that's okay. Uh, monks from nearby monastery have been stopping to trade for supplies quite uh, often lately. They usually linger to talk and exchange knowledge. You know what? Sure. I should seek their company more often. That sounds good. Sharp pains in your abdomen cause you to clutch at your stomach. Ulamir thinks we've got slow fever. To reduce our symptoms, she has brought us a potion of resist uh, disease. Hmm. Well, it doesn't seem to be working, so that's not great. A sudden gurgling and feeling of pressure in your gut is all the warning you have before you're forced to make a dash for the privy. Ulamir is still certain we're get we've got slow fever. 
She uh, recommended to minimize the effects of diarrhea, we should eat plenty of fruit and freshly baked bread. Okay. Well, that appears to be working. One moment you're shivering, the next you're sweating. Overall, you feel awful. A fever. Okay. Uh, turns out we have typhoid fever. Nice. You feel as if you're burning up and at times you have difficulties distinguishing between dreams and reality. You have contracted slow fever. Uh huh. Now I am a little bit worried here because our health is currently negative five. I mean we are hardy, I think, in this large list. Of it's just plus two, so we've only got negative three health. We also have plus two there, so we only have negative one health. But if we didn't have that plus two, are we excommunicated still? Oh, that's probably why people don't like us because we're excommunicated. I see, I couldn't even tell coming back into this. Um, yeah, I'm trying to see how much extra health we get for being an elf. It doesn't look like it tells us. I assume we do get extra health. So does the old elf trait give you? That lowers your health. Maybe they just start with a higher base. In fact, that seems incredibly likely. Right. Um, I didn't even realize we're 84. Wow. Right. Uh, where was my mind going? Excommunicated. Get rid of the excommunication. How do I do that? I find my religious leader and say, hey, stop excommunicating me. Yeah, you. I would like to not be excommunicated. No, he doesn't like me. Okay, well, how much uh, blood money do you need? Only 20 gold? I'll take it. Good. We'll uh, avoid being excommunicated now. If you could just cure my disease, that'd be lovely. Uh, I would gladly lift the excommunication of King Lord Galgalil and allow him to come back to the church. Good. Ulamir stood a meter or so away from you, facing you with both arms raised. She unleashed a healing spell upon you, then smiled. Are you feeling any better? She, uh, Ulamir asked. After a few seconds, you felt more ill and turned sickly pale. I'm so terribly sorry, Ulamir said. I seem to have forgotten how to cast cure disease and used... Drain insurance by mistake. Ulamir. Y you've got a short time to live. So you see, here's why I was worried. Because now we have negative three for mistreatment. And we have a negative three here. And then we have two negatives. So we're actually at negative eight health plus two. So we're at negative six health. It's still not the place where you really want to be. One day, passing by a monastery, come a you come upon a monk sitting and painting on in a field. You observe his work and marvel at the composition, the colors and the fine brush strokes that bring simple canvas to life. This monk is truly an artistic prodigy. So I can buy it or I can say very nice, now eat. I'm going to buy it. Yeah, I'll buy the painting. Sounds good. Right, since I came to Eleanor, I have never had a sh we have never had a shortage of soldiers reinforcing our troops. Nice. Uh, I need to take a look at the buildings in Eleanor and, fill, and find, figure out how to reinforce them and make them harder to conquer if the county would be sieged. The buildings did not inspire me in any way, but I have a friend who is excellent in these kind of things. Yes, Serena, what do you think about uh, siege tactics? As a vampire, that's the kind of thing you'll know a lot about. Oh, also, Ulamir, I have a reason to imprison you, right? Yes. Right, you can be imprisoned. Um, we need a replacement magister. That can be this lovely Altma right here. Is he um, a follower of our religion? Of course he is. Right, and we'll get him to um, research some cultural tech. Right, Ulamir. Let's find a punishment suitable for you. Also, is she still my court physician? Hopefully not. Yes, yes. Punishment suitable for her. Well, she failed to heal me. In fact, she she um, hurt me quite badly. She cast Drain Endurance on me. I could cast it on her, but that just seems pointless. I could um, order to order her to join the Mages Guild, um, and just get her to be better. But I guess not. I could humiliate her. Um, maybe not. I think. You know what? I think she caused us a lot of pain. We're going to torture her back. Seems good. 
Why complicate things when there is nothing like a good old the good old rack? Judging by Ulamir's screams, it seems as if she has learnt her lesson. See? She's learnt her lesson. She's much happier now. Right. Oh, and we need a new court physician. Uh, do we have anyone? Sarador can take it. That seems good. Right. Unpause. Lately, I find myself worrying about my little daughter, Thali. The lass is brought up believing in a false god who can offer her nothing but illusions and hollow promises. Perhaps Thali is ready to be introduced to the true fae. Um. Well, you know what? I will read her the Accords of Madness. That's fine. Uh, did that change her religion? Not yet. There must be more events to it. Oh, I also need to give her an education trait. Um, even though she's timid, Marshall kind of seems okay. I guess diplomacy might be best here. Let's go diplomacy. Uh, Marshall Baron Gillian. Well, I suppose uh, also... Um, yeah. Stewardship could have been alright as well. She does have relatively low base stewardship. I don't know. It's 50-50. Marshall, uh, whatever, whatever. I couldn't really understand what he was talking about, but he was ad adamant in his belief that this would improve the military. Good, do it. I talked and talked about what kind of reinforcements I thought the buildings could benefit from. But Serena, or Serana, was skeptical of all my ideas. She called the buildings unsalvageable and a threat to anyone. Tear them down and build anew, was Serana's advice. That'll cost too much. Yeah, well, there you go. I summoned Thali to my study where I proceeded to read her the Accords Madness. She seemed to truly enjoy the story. While Thali was more excited about returning to her playmates and having a conversation about what I just read, I think I got through to her in some way. This is a first step at least. Well, that's good. Oh, our leash got some new items. That's fine. Uh, oh, and he inherited the uh, Kinhold of Dusk, which is what uh, Kin Lady Valley used to hold before we uh, killed her. Uh, I just realized I really don't need to uh, focus on Ulamir anymore. Laro, Yes, 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 yes. The, the eunuch who slept with my wife. Yeah, we'll keep him marked. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Uh, nope. You, nope. Not joining that plot. What have we got here? Seek treatment for our illness. Well, that sounds like a good idea. I can also introduce my heir to my realm. Yeah, Thali. Let's introduce you. You invited your vassals to partake in a formal introduction of your heir, Thali. She'll have to exchange many pleasantries and act in a very formal way, something that might be tiresome for someone as young as her. However, you're full confident she will not disappoint you. Right, um, seek treatment for her illness. Okay, you shall do better. Cure me with a spell. Baron Sarador of Silverwood stood a meter or so away from you, facing you with both arms raised. He unleashed a healing spell upon you, then smiled. Are you feeling any better? Sarador asked. You said that you, said that you did, and nodded in acknowledgement before saying, It appears that cure disease worked perfectly. Well, fantastic. We are cured. Well, that's just great, really. I'm happy to be cured. Baron Elur Talmo of Carnview is a renowned, godly, and learned vassal of yours. After having introduced himself to Fali, uh, okay, Elur Talmo approaches you with an offer. I was going to say he's godly, but renowned godly. However, he is also a follower of our, well, god, Daedric, um, prince, whatever they're called. What are they actually called? Uh, yeah, Daedric prince. I was actually right. Anyway, he approached us with an offer. He is willing to spend some time teaching Thali some of the more intricate parts of the manifest in exchange for your favor. Okay. I think we should invest in education early because the characters are going to be around a long time. Right. While having a pleasant conversation, you are suddenly interrupted by an infernal ruckus. Upon further investigation, it seems as if Thali has gone into a fight with the child of one of the visiting vassals. You tear the two children apart, but it is obvious that Thali and... Palonira Arxana will never be friends after this encounter. I wonder who started it. They're bitter rivals. Hmm. I oh, will need to keep an eye on her. A dull pain begins to throb behind your eyes. Oh dear. We just got cured of our last disease. Baron Sarador of Silverwood states his extensive medical experience leads him to the certain conclusion that you have rock joint. He insists you follow his instructions. 
Also, I just want to see anyone else voting for us yet? Nope. Okay. That's fine. Baron Sarador brought you a bowl of mushroom soup. Here, make sure to eat all of this, he said. The mushrooms used in his recipe should help resist illness. Likewise, the crushed pearl that I sprinkled into the broth. I'm glad I hired him. He did an okay job. Um, what I wanted to check before I look at this new one um, is, is our plot still going? Yes, that's fine. That's all. That was pretty much it on that one. Karen Reeve Kalakmar, the Conqueror. What a fantastic name. I have to say, I really like the full title. Um, uh, is a renowned fighter and technician. After um, having introduced himself to Thali, Kalakamar approaches you with an offer. Kalakamar is willing to spend some time teaching Thali how to fight in exchange for your favor. Sure. Sounds good. Um, no. Right. The last year Vastas have left and Thali looks relieved. She is obviously exhausted from all the formalities. But having it being introduced like this will hopefully serve her well in the future. Groomed to perfection. Fantastic. Almost every joint in your body is swollen and stiff, making the very act of moving about painful and clumsy experience. You've contracted rock joint. Rock joint is an acute common disease affecting the victim's manual dexterity and ability to use melee weapons. Symptoms include painful swelling, immobility of all joints. Um, it may be contracted from wolves, ailets, zombies, and domesticated gore. I don't think I'd be near any of them, but okay, that's fine. Uh, we have... Oh, so it's in there. Okay, it's not a disease. Disease? It's like a... Okay, is it something we can't cure or something? I'm kind of confused why it's appeared in that section, not the end, but whatever. Now that our um, air has been introduced to the realm, also, do we not have uh, Grumman air? Is that not complete upon us doing that event? Oh, yeah, I guess they have to come of age as well. Yeah, okay. Uh, we can now induct her into our cult. Your court physician, Baron Sarador of Silverwood, has come to see you and offers you treatment for your illness. He explains there are seven, several different types of treatment he can offer. Yeah, just use cure disease. Wait. Oh no, don't use a scroll, just use magic. It costs money to use a scroll. Baron Sarador of Silverwood stood a meter away from you or so. Facing your both arms raised, he unleashed a healing spell upon you, but not noticing any effects. Sarador frowned and used a different spell on you. Cure disease didn't work, he says. But I've fortified your health, which might work almost as well. Well, that's good. Thank you. That's a lot of health. I summoned Thali to my study, where I proceeded to read her the Accords of Madness. I could tell from the first minute that I had a real challenge ahead of me. The lass was fidgeting in her seat and played with her sleeves. However, I was not expecting her to shout at me when I brought up Shirgora. Well, you know what? It is clear to me now. She isn't ready. And with that, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.